so this is just a voiceover of the tips and tricks video because it did not record the audio don't know why but it just didn't so i'm gonna be doing a voiceover on it and yeah. this is i was saying just to instead of breaking it with your pickaxe or spraying it with like an ar just if you have the option you can just place it with your own do whatever edits you want to do right here then you have to see your action to the person alright and that's tip number one alright so tip number two is just to get used to a good sense have a good sense that fits you that you're comfortable with so like if you prefer high sensitivity probably rock about no lower than 75 if you like higher sensitivity but don't rock any higher than 75 if you like low sensitivity i personally i don't like super fast sensitivity but i like don't want it to be slow and 82 is like perfect for me and but if you like slow moving i'd say run about 75 or 70 so 70 70 or 75 75 and on the aiming and scope, I'd probably say like 30. But if you like higher, just about 35, maybe 40. Then on building sense, to me, if you run like a really high building sense, it doesn't place some of your builds. So I like to keep it not default like it used to be before they added it. But I like to have it just a tiny bit above normal. Another thing you can do is... So everything just works a little bit faster if you have Builder Pro build immediately on. It'll just, instead of when you click the, say I click the right bumper, instead of it placing the floor immediately, it would show me the blueprint of it. But since you want it to like place faster and do all this stuff, it will just benefit you if you put it on immediately. You don't have to, but it would benefit you and it would help you. Now the edit time, put that all the way down. Just will speed up your edits and nothing wrong with having faster edits. Um, yeah, that is tip number two. Okay, now tip number three. To practice your editing when you have that low edit um, speed, set up edit courses. You don't have to use my exact ones. Just search one up on YouTube or something. But this is just one I made, this playground game. Or you can make your own. It's just, it's, they're not hard to make. Not hard at all. They're not confusing. You can just do ramps or just walls or something. It's just up to you. But this is how I practice my edits. I just do random edit courses. Or in the next tip, you'll see how else I practice my edits. And yeah, just watching the edit courses. I'm booty at editing, by the way. I need to do these more. But yeah. So this is me showing you like how to, if you do this exact edit course, how to do it. So just edit the ramp in half. Edit like the wall like that. Same with that one. Edit the pyramid into our ramp. Then we go up. Edit through both of those. Like I said, I'm about to editing, as you can tell. Yeah, that's how to do it. And then, I'm pretty sure after this, yay. Um, it's just me showing you me attempting my own edit course. But like I said, I'm pretty cheeks at editing. So. Yep, there you see, I already cut myself. Let's see. Con CTB is terrible. And then I forgot to edit the pee on the back. I remember that. I was annoyed. But, yeah, next tip. Okay, so, when you have your sniper right there, or in any slot, it's not the last slot, Always have it in the last slot, because if it's not, you won't be able to shoot automatically with your AR. Say you body somebody, you won't be able to finish off the kill. Say you shoot. 
a whole different gun. There are a whole couple different guns or meds or something. But if you put it on the end like this, you can just... Okay, this is the other way I told you I practiced my edits. Also, booty at this. And, yeah, it's pretty simple to do. You just gotta build floors and ramps all the way up max height. Or until you run out of max or something. You don't have to build full one by one. See if you can build full one by one to do this. But this is all you have to do. There's no point in doing full one by one. You don't have to. It doesn't affect anything. I'm probably going to be making a dark when you're doing it, but this is one of the ways I practice my edits, along with editing courses. This is an edit course, but I'm going to talk about, yep, this is me trying to do it, because I'm going to be cheeks, but this is how you do it. Okay, this is what I practice my edits. Um, pretty sure at first I should just show you, like, right now I'm just showing you what to do, it's pretty simple, I don't even think I'm going to show you how to do it, but then it's just me actually like trying to, as you can see, it's bad, I've only been playing on console since I got second in season 5, so I'm still cool, so I'm okay. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm pretty good at editing. Always have been. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Don't judge me. But, okay. This is one of the ways you can practice your editing. One of the ways that I do. And, yeah. I'm gonna do this practice your editing. Alright guys, this is the end of the video, hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks, I'm not sure how many it is, around 5 or 6 or some, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and drop some video ideas down below, what you want to see on the channel, alright, bye.